What is going on guys? It's your boy Chris Cage coming at you two times back with another weekly race video. You're going to start seeing this super six lane raceway off, um, in the shot more often than usual. We might film another weekly race here because of the fact that we are getting prepared for Hot Wheels All Out, Real Riders Challenge, and many more All Out races. All the Benza cars have been rearranged. And we're all getting geared up for the month of September as we start All Out Filming. Now, Hot Wheels All Out fil Filming will take place in the month of September and may persist to through the end of it if it takes that long. But just note that in the All Out Racing uh, series, you will have nine different winners from their nine different respective bids. I'm going to just have to figure out how I'm going to separate the GT racers that are all stuck in bit, in, in uh, bin 9. Anyway, on to the weekly race. What we're going to do is, we have 16 heats of 2 cars. We're going to go on a Super 6 lane and then race them in a drag racing format. Until we get to one car. And that one car is going to challenge for a spot on the Tower of Fast. Now, I'm going to introduce the cars that are going to be in, a, in in the Tower of Fast pretty soon, but I'm going to do it in a special type of way. If those of y'all used to watch a, a game show called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, they done it like this. And I'm going to show you who these 10 cars are going to be um, that, that are in the Tower of Fast. And they are... Slurry... Solar Reflex from the 2019 Mainline Series. Turbo Charge from the 2019 Mainline Series. Torque Twister from the Mystery Models Series. Drifta Race Team Edition from the 2019 Mainline Series. GT Hunter from a 5-pack. Rigor Motor from a 2019 Halloween 8-car set. Futurismo from a multi-pack. Scoopa de Fuego from a Disney 8-car set. Horseplay from a 8-car set from Disney. And finally, Vendetta from the Disney 8-car set. These are y'all 10 cars that are on the Tower of Fast. And it is up to these cars on, on the floor that are going to try to attempt to knock one of these off. Of the Tower of Fast. Hopefully they will do so. Or maybe they might not. Who knows. But all we do know is it's time to start round number one. And that is starting right now. It's time to begin round number one. Here is your first of 16 matchups. It goes to lane five and it goes to Power Rocket. Here is your next matchup. Winner, lane five. Lane number five and it goes to the newest rapid responder. Here we are. Here is your next matchup. Another win in lane number five, and it goes to the Squidward version of Bedlam, a.k.a. Bedlam in the Burbs. Alright guys, here's your next matchup. Winner, lane Another winner in lane five, and it's the Runway Rescue. Here we are, coming at you with the next two. Lane number two, and it goes to Bone Shaker. Here's your next matchup, and look at baseline, though. Let's see who wins. Winner, lane two. 
Back at it two times in lane number two, it is Baseline. All right, guys, here's your next matchup. Your winner is Zerod. Here's your next matchup. Winner, lane five. Goes to lane five, and it goes to the Circle Trucker. Take a look at this matchup. Windmill Gen E. All right, here are your next two. Winner, lane two. Carbonator. Here's your next two. Winner, lane two. Hover and out. Here's your next matchup. Winner, lane five. Ultra Rage. Here's your next matchup. Winner, lane two. It goes to Cove Light. Welcome back, Cove Light. I haven't seen him in a while. Here's your next matchup. Winner, lane five. Going to lane five, and it goes to T-Rex Destroyer. Second to the last matchup. Winner, lane five. Lane five, and it goes to Ballistic. Here is your final matchup. It's time to see which one of these two are going to move on to the next round. Winner, lane five. Baja Truck is going to move on to the next round. And speaking of the next round, here is how the next round is going to look like. These are all the vehicles that have moved on from round number one and are going to move on to round number two. And round number two is going to be coming up next. It's time to begin round number two. Here is your first matchup. Winner, lane two. And Power Rocket is going to continue his dominant or continue his dominant run. Here we go. Next two. Winner, lane two. Lane number two, and it goes to Bedlam. Here's your next matchup. Winner, lane five. It goes to lane number five, and it is baseline. All right, next two. Winner, lane five. And your winner of that race is Circle Trucker. All right, next matchup. Winner, lane two. It's going to the Twin Mill Gen E. All right, next two. Lane 5, and it goes to Ultra Rage. All right, second to the last group of uh, two. Winner, lane 2. And it goes to Cove Light again. These are your final two. 
It's time to see which one of these two are going to move on to the next round. Winner! Lane two! Baja Truck is out. Ballistic is in. Now it's time to see who's going to move on to the next round. Eight cars moving on to the next round. And then after that, we have the semifinals, and then the finals, and then the battle. But before we get to those two rounds, as I said before, we're going to start off with round number three. Here are all the cars for round two, moving on to round three. And round three will begin right after this. Time to begin the third round. We got ourselves our first two cars beginning round number three. Winner, lane two. My childhood fantasy car might just win this because he just moved on to the semifinals. All right, we got two fantasy trucks facing off against each other in this matchup. Circle Trucker makes quick work of Baseline and moves on to the semifinals. Just like that, we're down to the second to the last group. Here are your two cars getting ready to race. Ooh, that could have gone either way, but as it says, lane two, and your winner is Cove Light. Here we are, final matchup is either Gen E or Ultra Rage. Winner, lane two. Well, in the immortal words of Plankton on this side of the vehicle, I win, I win, because Mr. Krabs' Ultra Rage is out. And your winner is Twin Mill Gen E, which means he gets to move on to the semifinals. And it's going to feature these four vehicles. Power Rocket, Circle Trucker, Cove Light, and Twin Mill Gen E. The semifinals is going to start right after this. And we'll see which one of these two will move on to the finals. It is now time for the semifinals. Which one of these two are going to move on to... To go one step closer to, to challenging one of the 10 cars on the Tower of Fast. Winner, lane five. Say goodbye to Power Rocket because Circle Trucker is going to get it done. It's either Cove Light or Twin Mill E that is going to face off against Circle Trucker in the finals. It's going to be Twin Mill Gen E. So, congrats to Twin Mill Gen E. You have won a date with Circle Trucker. And no, I do not mean a relationship type date. We are talking about a one on one race to the finish. One and done. One of these two cars are going to challenge for a spot on the Tower of Fast. Will it be Circle Trucker or will it be Twin Mill Gen E? The finals with a one-and-done race, is coming up next. All right, guys, here it is. A one-and-done race, which means that one of these two cars are going to win and challenge for a spot on the Tower of Fast. But they only get one shot at this, so they have to make it count. Let's see who will get the honor a challenging for a spot on the Tower of Fast. Winner, lane two. It is going to be Circle Trucker. And now, we're going to find out who is going to challenge Circle Trucker for a spot on the Tower of Fast. It's time for me to bring out the dice. By the way, this phone is standing really nicely. I had no idea this was going to work like this. 
if you must know, I'm using mini pop sockets, so these pop sockets really work. The dice says nine. I'll show it to you in the camera as it was. That's what it said, nine. Or it says number nine, obviously. Sorry if it's blurry. That's what I rolled. So what that means is space nine, which means that it's going to be a Spongebob-themed Hot Wheels car taking on Horseplay, which does not want to be in the shop for some reason. And it's going to skate out just like that. So yes, guys, here's the matchup. It will be Circle Trucker versus Horseplay for Space Nine. And that match is going to be coming up next. Alright guys, this is what we came to see. A Tower of Fast Race. And this is what we're going to get. We have... Horseplay. From a Disney A car set taken on Circle Trucker from a SpongeBob SquarePants 20th anniversary A car set. And by the way, that showcase video will be coming within about a cup um, a couple of weeks from now. So, so I think it's going to be not this coming Sunday or the other Sunday. I think it's the third Sunday in September. So yeah, stay tuned for it then. But, right now, it's the best 2 out of 3 race. It's time to see who will win Space 9. Will it be Horseplay? Will it be Circle Trucker? This is run number 1 out of 3. Winner! Lane 2! Horseplay still got it. If Horseplay wins again, that means he retains his spot on the Tower of Fast. If not, then we go to a third run. Winner! Lane two! I'm pretty sure some of y'all expected that to happen, but it has happened. So, Circle Trucker forces it to a third run. Here they are, right down the middle. So, it's either going to be Horseplay... Or Circle Trucker that is going to get space number 9. We wish the best racer the best of luck in this final race to determine who gets space number 9. Let's go! Winner! Creeps Winner! from behind and takes it! Circle Trucker defied everybody. And on the other side, the obverse side of... Circle Trucker, you can see it. I win. I win. Well, guess what? You're right. You have won. You have won space number nine. Let's put you in space number nine right now to see how you look amongst most of your colleagues in the fantasy bin. A SpongeBob SquarePants vehicle has decided to show off in the Tower of Fats. But there's only one thing. All these 10 cars in, in the Tower of Fast are going to be removed from the, from the tower because Hot Wheels All Out is going to be, Hot Wheels All Out filming will, will, will begin soon. So they all have to go back in their bins. But here is how all the 10 cars look in the Tower of Fast. And when we get done with Hot Wheels All Out filming, which will be somewhere within the mid to late September. But you will see these races within the end of the year. Um, yeah, we will get the Tower of Fast um, um, back up and running. And more cars, more challenges, more opportunities to steal spots ranging from 1 through 10. So that will do it for today's weekly race. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you are brand new watching this, be sure you subscribe and also turn on the notifications bell as well so that you don't miss a video that I post here on YouTube. It's your boy Chris Cage and I'm coming at you two times and we will see you at the next video.